and welcome to Exposing Truth Ministry for another Health Nugget. We're so glad that you stopped by. Today we have a special guest, Sister Remy, all the way from Kenya. Karibu, Sister Remy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so much humbled to be here. Happy Sabbath. Sabata and Jema. Sabbath and Jema, yes. You're right. So what does the mind have to do with our spirituality? Does it make sense that we keep our minds clear? Does it have anything to do with end time? Sister Remy will tell us about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy Sabbath, everyone. I want to take this time to thank the Lord for the invitation that I got to be here. And I just have a short time and I just want to start by a prayer. So I request that all of us, we pray and we just have this. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, we want to thank you so much for this humble moment that you have provided unto us that we may learn and we pray for this time that you may send your spirit to be our teacher to guide us through this sabbath and uh, that we may be partaker of all the blessings that are pertain to the sabbath be with us and guide us through for this is our prayer in jesus name Amen. 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 I'm going to share something shortly on the connection that is there between our diet, that is our diet, our mind, and the seal of God. And we are going to start by reading a verse from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 7, starting from verse 14 to verse 16. And I'm going to read. The Bible says that, therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Verse 15. A butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse evil and to choose the good. Verse 16. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. So that is the verse that is going to guide us through on what we are going to pick about the earth, mind, and the seal of God. Now, the Bible tells us clearly about the prophecy that was given before even the birth of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that a virgin was to conceive, and this virgin was going to have a son, which we know is Savior Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that before even Christ was born, there was given a guideline, I can say, or God chose the diet of this child before even the child was born. And we are given a diet that butter and honey shall eat. And the Bible says, gives a reason why that diet was chosen. And the Bible continued to say that he may know how to refuse evil and choose good. So the diet that was chosen for this child was to help the child be able to decide or make a decision. We know that uh, we use our conscious mind to make decisions. And especially now, we are at a time where we are required to make uh, practical decisions concerning what is ahead of us. We know that we are heading to the end of time. There is a mark of the beast before us. There is a ceiling of God that is to come before us. And we know that he's ongoing. And we are in a time where we have to make some radical and final decisions. And we are told from the health, what we know from the health, that is that we use our conscious mind to make decisions. So in Christ's time, we are told that Christ never sinned. That means that he always made the right decisions. So what enabled him to make the right decisions? We are told that the first thing that enabled Christ to have that clear mind was the diet that God chose for him. In these last days, also God has chosen as a diet, has given us a, a diet. For what purpose? That we may know how to refuse evil and to choose good. So we are in a point of time where God wants us to choose good. And the good that you are going to choose is going to lead us or to direct us into making those good decisions. And one of the good decisions is to settle into the truth. And uh, this brings about the ceiling. I just want to quickly mention the book of Daniel. That is the sequence of events that we see in the book of Daniel, chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. Just quickly, in the book of Daniel, chapter 1, what we see, the all of chapter, chapter 1, the theme that comes out is diet. 
a war between the right food and the bad food, but we see diet there. And what comes out, we see there is that, there is a food that is presented before the people or the people, and people have to make a decision. In chapter two, we see there is a dream, a king dreams. And uh, when he dreams, he requires someone to interpret the dream. And we see Daniel is able to interpret the dream. We come to chapter three, there is a setup of image. And uh, when the image is set up, uh, people are required to make decisions. And we see the people who are able to make the good decisions, the people who are able to choose good and not evil. These are uh, uh, Daniel's friends, we know. And what we get from the three chapters, that sequence of events, is that the diet, that the decision upon or of diet they made in chapter one was able to make Daniel have that clear mind and to make a decision or to be able to help the king interpret the dream in chapter two. And the same diet that they choose in uh, chapter one was able to give them that clear mind to be able to make a good decision in chapter three. And the decision they made is that they were able to stand and choose God of heaven. So we are here in the last days. We are in this moment and the sequence of events of the book of Daniel is just repeating in our time. We have a presentation of diet before us. A table is prepared by the king of this world. And uh, Christians are called to make a decision, either to partake of the king's diet or to choose to say no, or to purpose in their hearts like Daniel did and say no. And after that, we will see that there will be a setup of an image. And after this setup of an image, the people of God will be required also to make a decision. So what will help us make a decision when the moment uh, during the time of the mark of the beast will come before us, it will be the kind of decision about our health or the diet that we partake right now. And so we know when we come to the point of the mark of the beast, that time the ceiling is almost done or it is done. Diet, what we choose to eat, what we choose to partake, what we choose to take into our body can either affect our mind rightly or badly. That that we partake is able either to be cloud or be numb our mind or our senses or help us to make right decision. That is having a clear mind, like the mind of Daniel and his friends. And this is the mind that Jesus Christ had. Why? Because of the diet that he chose. And with the help of God, he was able to stay away from evils. He was able to make right decisions. He was able to choose good. So we are living in a time where God is requiring us to choose good and leave evil. This we can only do if today we make a decision of having a right diet before us. Diet plays a big role when it comes to decision making. And what I want to advise us this here it is evening, there it is morning, is that let us make a choice today of what we partake because that will affect how we will make a decision tomorrow. God wants to seal us and God cannot seal an impure forehead or an impure mind. God only seals a good mind, a perfect mind, healthy mind. That is what God is looking for to seal. And that can only be achieved if we make this decision of having a good diet or a good food before us. May God bless us. All right. Thank you so much, Sister Remy. You mentioned a good diet. Some people watching may not understand what that means, but you mentioned people like Daniel. Daniel and his friend, they ate pulse and water. And I think pulse was vegetables. I think those were vegetables. And sometimes if we go back, to know which diet, because we have the American food, what do they call it? The American Food Society or whatever they ate. I don't remember what they mm. call it. Health and Food and Drug Administration tell you. This time they said, this is what your plate looked like. Another time they give you another period, this pyramid to say, this is what it should like. If we're in any confusion, one of the best things to consider is go back to creation and see when we were created. What did God give us to eat? 
you know, and then after sin, some more things were introduced in our lives. So I think probably the more whole food that we can go for, and in terms of drinking, it's like there's no better drink than water, right? I know there are people who say, I don't drink water. Water is so mm -hmm. essential. As you know, Rose and Truth Ministry, the information we give you have not been verified by the FDA, but it has been approved by our creator, King of Kings. And it's to inspire you to do more research, to find out, to dig. We have to fight for our health. And what from what you have shared with us, Sister Remy, our physical health can affect our mental health and our mind through which God communicates to us. So if we're thinking of things to drink, Something that's going to mess with our judgment, like alcohol or narcotics, or those are things that people would want to stay away from. Again, go do some research. And remember, 3 John 1 verse 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. And this is our wish for you. Remember to like this video, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will know when a new health nugget is available. Thank you for watching and God bless.